<laughs> Go back that way and wait for me. <laughs> Ladies, when I tap you on the shoulder, please state your name and your sexual preference. Uh, no, uh, please state your name and where you're from. Brianna, Australia. Ali, Australia. Courtney, Canada. Sherry, Canada. Chelsea, Canada. Georgie, England. Beth, England. <laughs> is the entire lesbian row this evening and from all different countries it's like international house of pancakes with lesbians <laughs> can i say that <laughs> ladies this is a very exciting moment for me not only is this the largest collection of foreign <laughs> ladies we've ever had on the show but i know how tense cbs are because they think i'm going to send all of you to a restaurant on their tab <laughs> And they're trying to send me signals right now not to do that. <laughs> but I'm going to ignore that. <laughs> all right. Where are you going to send them that? They're all from out of town. They're all from out of town. Different places. Well, well different, no, different places? Yeah. Are you going to split them up? Yeah. Oh. What the heck? That's <laughs> colonial, man. You can't do that. <laughs> no, they have to go to the same place. No? <laughs> What the hell is this? <laughs> Don't let me, let me make me look bad in front of the international lesbians. <laughs> what? Alter Craig's. Alter Craig. Well, you can all go to Craig's restaurant. Craig's a very good restaurant. Steak. You, uh, you're all vegetarians, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. You're, you're English. This is going to be awesome for you. Yeah. What part of England are you from? Brighton. I love Brighton. Oh, that's good. I slept on the beach once in Brighton. <laughs> Are you from Brighton too? Yeah. Do you ever go down to that? There's a club right at the beach, and then you come out drunk and you just like, and you fall asleep in the beach? Yeah. 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 <laughs> and you guys are from? Vancouver Island! Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> if you were really Canadian, you wouldn't have done it like that. You would have been like, Vancouver Island. <laughs> That's nice. And you're Australian? Yep. <laughs> Australia are you from? Uh, Brisbane on the East Coast. Oh yeah, Brisbane, the <laughs> Cobber's Revenge. <laughs> I've never been to Brisbane, don't know anything about it. Come on over. This is Secretary. Follow him to the end of the corridor and then go to the... I don't know, just go. <laughs> Follow the Secretary. Go! Go! Please state your name and where you're from. My name is Christy. I'm from Flint, Michigan. I'm Rachel. I'm also from Flint, Michigan. Oh, hi. Hello. Hi. What are you ladies doing in Los Angeles? Taking a Hollywood vacation. Wow. Well, I see. You look great. I love Thank your you. dress and your cross and you've got lovely shoes on with the things on them. And you, <laughs> it's, like, it's like a fashion parade. <laughs> what, what are you doing on your Hollywood vacation? Where are you going? Here. <laughs> We're gonna go yeah. to a Dodgers game. Oh! Get a Dodger dog. Yeah, it's all Hollywood so far. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> have you been to Hollywood before? Just once. Uh, when? It was about a year ago. And you liked it? <laughs> I did. We live in Flint. Well, Flint, Michigan's, right. yeah, you know, it's, uh, it's quite a town. Yeah. I've, actually, the truth is I've never been to Flint, Michigan. What what's goes on in Flint, Michigan? Murders. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on a second. Excuse me, I just have to speak to the audience. That's not funny. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you? Ah, uh, murders? Yeah! So you're here for the, the good, wholesome times that you can have in Hollywood, California. Yeah. All right, well, what do you guys do when you're in Flint, Michigan? Do you run a, some kind of fashion store? We're nurses. Mm -hmm. We save lives. Really? Yeah. Wow. I'm impressed. Thank you. Well, then you want to come here and get a bit of frivolity. It must be quite hard it work is. being a nurse. Yeah. <laughs> I feel chastised. <laughs> I feel like I've been punished in a sort of naughty nurse. Sort of. Hey, you wanted a robot. 
No. Are, is that true about nurses? Are they kind of like when they party, they really kind of party? We work hard, party hard. <laughs> I like these girls. I like them very much. Greg, how will you... How will you express to these ladies how much you like them? Legally. <laughs> well, I shall spend some of CBS's millions and millions of dollars by sending them to a swanky restaurant. Where are we going to send them to? Uh, Master of Steakhouse in Beverly Hills. Master of Steakhouse of Beverly Hills! And are you just here on your own, just the two of you? Yes. All right, do you want to take dates? Sure. All right. F four, table for four. Yeah! You thought, but your dates aren't allowed to eat. <laughs> no, you should. Table for four, Mastro's Beverly Hills, CBS will pick up the tab, and what else do you want? <laughs> Des yeah, you, dessert's part of the whole thing. Okay. Yeah, yeah, this is Hollywood. Dessert comes with dinner. <laughs> What else? Do you want to go and see a real show, like The Price is Right or something? Can we dress up? Yeah, you can dress up for The Price is Right. You're dressed up now. You look great. <laughs> Thank you. No, oh, that's all right. <laughs> I have to go to a commercial break and have him yell at me. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. Look, look at the size of this guy. Look at the size of him. You go first. Secretariat has shied, shied away because, sorry, what's your name again? Christopher. Christopher, I saw Christopher sitting in the audience and I thought, this man is enormous. <laughs> Christopher, you're six foot four. Mm -hmm. And then you come out and I think, well, you're not that much taller than me. <laughs> but then I thought, he is rather big. For example, look, this is a regular size hat. <laughs> a sense of perspective. Let me look at this. Sorry, what's your name again? Alexa. Alexa. Now, Alexa is a regular-sized lesbian from Lesbian Row, right? <laughs> you were in Lesbian Row, and you were at what height are you? I'm 5'5". Five 5'5". Five. Five five. What's the average height for a lesbian of Lesbian Row? Uh, <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> I think we have an anomaly on Lesbian Row. Anyway, we'll carry on. You stand there with the hat, uh, you stand there, uh, and then we'll, we'll do the beginning of the show. Just stand there, it'll be fine. <laughs> when I tap you on the shoulder, please state your name. Alexa. Chris. Alexa and Chris, have you ever met each other before? No. no. Have we ever met in the street? No. no. Okay, now. <laughs> I was going to do a trick, but I don't know any tricks. <laughs> do you, have you met each other before? No. Have you, uh, did you come with anyone? No, I came by myself. I see. And did you come with anyone? Yes. How, what you, who, what, who? Uh, Emma and Whitney. Emma and Whitney, your two girlfriends? Yes. <laughs> Dude, this is about to get really awesome for you. Uh, thank you for your time. Just, just, just tell me what happens after the... Alexa and your two hot friends, you are going, uh, all four of you are going to a restaurant. Well, yeah, all four of them, yeah, they're going, the two of them and then the two friends. That's all right, right? You can afford that, right? Is that all right? Or, or you could send me to Cannes. Take your pick, take your pick. <laughs> Café La Boheme, that's a great restaurant. And now, it's going to be a little awkward because the, the three of you know each other and you've never been there. Now, you girls, be kind. Of course. Because the thing is, I remember, you know, when I was little, I was big, if you know what I mean. I was like, were you the biggest guy in your class? Always. And didn't you feel kind of awkward when the, all the other kids are like kind of having their life and you were like, oh. <laughs> that was like me too. I was like that too. Worked out better for you, I think, didn't it? Not really. They chased me on like Shrek. Look. Wait, wait. No, they, they, they called you Shrek? What do you think they did to me? I even sound like, oh, I donkey. Oh, I Shrek. Anyway, it's all right. It's all right. So you're going to Café Lobeam. That's great. That's French, you know. <laughs> well, that'll be good. Are you guys excited? Are you from out of town? Yes. Where are you from? We're from Tennessee. <gasps> 
Tennessee, that's lovely. Which part? Nashville. Nashville? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> that's the Vegas of Tennessee. <laughs> Am I right? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. I got me a tornado warning once when I was in Nashville, <laughs> and the weather was fine. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. <laughs> go, 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 go. Please state your name and where you're from. My name's Lindsay. I'm yeah. from St. Louis. St. Louis, Missouri? Mm-hmm. I say Missouri because I'm <laughs> out of the... <laughs> Is that what you say? You're, I'm out of Missouri? Missouri. <laughs> Are you mocking me? No. <laughs> St. Louis, eh? That's where they have those things. What are they called again, Jeff? What's that? <laughs> Are you even awake? No, man, We're trying no, to get the show started. We're I trying know, to get man, it going. I'm playing around, man. All right, all right. What's going on over there? All right, so St. Louis. Yeah. Yes. Yes. What do you do in St. Louis? I'm a nurse. A nurse? We had nurses the other night. Is this becoming a nurse thing? <laughs> Are they sending you guys here as part of your training? Yeah. Are you a psychiatric nurse? Is that what it is? <laughs> Sometimes. Are you really? Sometimes. Okay. <laughs> You married? No. Dating? No. <laughs> you looking for something? Maybe. <laughs> what you looking for? Skeleton? Horse? <laughs> what kind of thing are you after? Horse. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's stay with humans, shall we? <laughs> So, what's your ideal man then? <laughs> if, if it is a man, I mean, it might be a woman. I'm like, no judging. I, I'm like, I'm cool, whatever it is. Is it man, woman? Man. Man, okay. Uh, what are you looking for in a man? Tall. Teeth? Yeah, teeth. Teeth. teeth are great. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, probably want to stay away from uh, Scotland then. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I got these when I came to America. You know? <laughs> They meet you at the airport with it like, welcome to America, there's your teeth. <laughs> I was like, thank you. <laughs> well, um, guess what? What? Good news. Okay. I found you a boyfriend. Sweet. Yeah, he's uh, animatronic and gay. <laughs> okay. But he has a heart of gold and knows what to do with one of his hands. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> it's a start. No, we're going to send you to a swanky Hollywood eatery, aren't we? What, what one? Sewer. Sure. Sewer? Sure, that's the one, Lisa Vanderpump. You know that uh, Beverly Hills housewife, Lisa Vanderpump? Mm -hmm. That's her restaurant. That's where she Vanderpumps. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Have you ever seen a Vanderpump before? No. <laughs> it's quite a sight. Uh, are you here with you? Are you here with these mm -hmm. these ladies there? We'll send you all. You can all eat for free on CBS's Dime, and I really mean it when I say Dime. <laughs> we'll be right back. We'll be right back. Please state your name for the folks at home. Joseph. Joseph. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Need you no more. <laughs> do you know these two ladies that are sitting behind me, Joseph? I do, sir. Who are they? One would be my beautiful wife, Kim, and my lovely daughter, Caitlin. I see. And why are you all here this evening? Ah, because my wife is a great fan of yours. Ah, your wife is a great fan of mine. <laughs> The truth is revealed. <laughs> yes, but you, Joe, not so much, I think. This is true. What do you prefer in late night, Joe? Something that you can find on your computer? Yes. <laughs> Where are you?
you from, Joe? Tucson. Tucson, Arizona? Yes. They've got one of the best air museums in the country. Thank you very much. Is it yours? <laughs> it is not mine. Yeah, are you in any way responsible for it? Not in the least. Well, then don't thank me. You are in no way responsible for that air museum. <laughs> what do you do there in Arizona on your computer? <clears throat> I don't think we can talk about that on the air. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a second. <laughs> what, is, what does he do? What does he do? Not so sure. You don't know? <laughs> I think I know. I do. <laughs> what does he do? Dirty things. <laughs> Dirty things? <laughs> really? Really. <laughs> you get into that hand sanitizer over there? <laughs> well. Good news, Joe and family who are very understanding about Joe's computer thing. <laughs> We're sending you to a restaurant, which is? Café La Boheme. Café La Boheme. Well, it's named after a cafe. <laughs> Thank you very much. And there you will eat for free. Thank you very much. <laughs> mm, you're welcome. <laughs> I feel That's weird, though, that you haven't told us what you do on the computer. But Well, um, what I do on the computer is what most people do on the computer. I just look things up and read news and check out sports and do things you can't talk about on television. <clears throat> He's a spy. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please meet Robin and her friend Secretariat. <laughs> Robin was on the show last night, and she and Secretariat have become great friends. Basically. Secretariat can't stop smiling. <laughs> hey, Jeff, you do some narration, Morgan Freeman narration. It will sound better. You do it. Well, there's Robin, gently, <laughs> gently stroking Secretariat's muscle. <laughs> Permanent smile on his face because of plastic surgery in Beverly Hills. <laughs> Oh, no, wait, wait. I think the, the lighting's pretty bad in here, Robin. Hold on. There. We have this trouble every time Toby Keith is on as well. Here, here. There, there you go. Right, Jeff, keep going. Craig adjusted Robin's hat. But she looked like a strange pirate after that. But oh, she hang on, hang on. Sorry to interrupt. I'm very sorry. <laughs> sorry to interrupt. If you didn't see the show last night, where were you? Robin was on, in the audience last night and she came out and she was so perky. When I was talking to her at the beginning of the show, she said a phrase. What was it, Robin? Hot dog. Hot dog. <laughs> and Secretariat was just charmed. I was charmed. <laughs> Jeff was charmed. The three, this, the three amigos, the three... It's always just been us three guys, but now Yoko Ono is here. <laughs> <laughs> I no way mean that in a derogatory term to me. What the hell is wrong with me tonight? I... All right, Jeff, uh, narrate their friendship a little bit and then we'll go to a commercial break. I'll stay out of the way over at the back there, okay. right? Robin, you continue to be perky and adorable. Although now you've been in show business for over 24 hours, I've got a feeling you're going to get cynical. Sure, Robin brought the sunshine and made everybody's day better. But once she showed up, the three amigos were never quite the same. <laughs> Craig looked on in anguish. <laughs> then he realized he wasn't wearing any underwear. <laughs> then he felt naughty about it, but okay. <laughs> the hell's going on? <laughs> We're celebrating everything. What are we doing? Well, we got the, the Gay Pride Weekend. Gay Pride! Weekend. Gay Pride! Yeah. And what else? 
stuffed horses? <laughs> stuffed horses? Stuffed we would never horses. agree to that on no, this no, show. No. We love horses and we don't want to see them stuffed. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's good, man. As soon as that camera goes up. Yeah, I know. <laughs> because the thing is, the camera goes on her and she smiles, and then, but, but when the camera's not on her, she's going like this to me. <laughs> Did she, did she just mouth the words, I own you, Ferguson? Yeah, yeah. I own you. That's what she said. I own, I own you. you. I own you. You're mine. No. Dear Craig, how do you think this, how long do you think this stupid vampire phase is going to last? Um, I think it's over, isn't it? Yeah, it's done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Secretary is still into it. You still like the Twilight, don't you? What's that you've got on your stall there? <laughs> I think Secretariat's moved on as well, don't you? <laughs> she did it again, did yeah, you see? Yeah, she did that! Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> this is from Lena in Overland Park in Kansas. He says, uh, Dear Craig, does Jeff hang uh, with tiny Drew Carey when you're not making the show? No, no, he hangs with uh, Robin and Secretariat. Why are you laughing, Robin? <laughs> because I remember Drew when he was fat. <laughs> Those were good times, weren't they? <laughs> yeah. He's, he's thin now. Yeah. Good for him. Hmm? Good for him. Yeah, yeah, I'm not saying it's bad. You know, it's healthy and stuff, but, you know. He, get, he gets angry, too, doesn't he? Does he get angry now? If you still, if you still call him fat? I don't know. I never tried. I saw him. <laughs> do you, would you? No, I don't think we should do that, do you? You, think you should no. try it out, man. Don't no, do it. I don't, don't, don't want to make him angry. He's my friend. No, just call him up. Be like, hey, man, you're looking a little, little trippy, man. All right, then hold on. No, don't do it. I'll call him on the comedy phone. All right. Don't do it. Don't do it. No, I'm doing it. No. <laughs> I didn't mean it. No, it's too late. <laughs> hey, Drew? Hello? Yeah. yeah. Hey. Oh, 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 you could, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> hey, Drew? <laughs> you sound a bit like Jay Leno. <laughs> You, you sure you're not Jay Leno? Yeah, let me, uh, Jay, what have you done with Drew? Hold on, let, let me get the phone to Drew. Hold on a second. Okay. Right. Oh, hey, man. Hey, man, uh, what's going on? What's going on, man? How you doing? All right, uh, listen, uh, Ro you know Robin is on my show. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, she called you fat. <laughs> no, 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 she was just checking to see if, if you got angry, if you got cold fat, even though you're no longer fat. <laughs> calm down, Drew, calm down. It's not worth it. <laughs> I own you. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, thanks for visiting with me and the family. <laughs> You have a nice time? Oh, I had a delightful time. Del Isn't she lovely? So pleasant. She said delightful. <laughs> I know. I wish you were a bit more like her. Oh, what the hell, man? Don't make this about me. <laughs> well, I'm just saying Robin seems to, you know, bring a certain kind of joie de vivre to the events as opposed to your cynical horse-hating ways. Well, you're no little Miss Sunshine either, pal. I'm sorry you had to see this, Robin. I'm sorry you had to see this. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Good night. <laughs> Tonight, on a very special Late Late Show, we tell the story of... Ashley. Ashley and... Rika. And their touching... attempt... <laughs> to balance on one roller skate. <laughs> what happened? I actually was um, going up the escalator at um, the Metro in Vermont and uh, Wilshire. Ver oh, oh, here? Yeah. You used the underground railway in Los yeah, Angeles? Yeah, I did. You're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently so, and I had really high heels on, because you know, you men love those. So. Oh, yeah, 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 you're right. I got stuck. In the escalator. You get stuck in the escalator and you were like, no, no. And the escalator's like, yes, yes. I took a big chunk out of my shoe. No. Yes. And it ruined your shoes. Uh-uh. <laughs> totally. 
<laughs> and what happened to your leg then? Broke my fibula, dislocated my ankle. Oh, gee, oh, I'm so sorry, but good news. The other one's fine. <laughs> Do you, now, how long do you have to wear this? Another two months. Oh, man, so you'll be wearing it all the way through August, September. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, the good news is this. CBS, in their wisdom, have decided to send both of you... You are friends, right? I didn't just, like, pick you up. Yeah, right, all right. <laughs> how, uh, how friendly are you, if I may ask? <laughs> fine, fine, okay. Uh, um... You know, just, just wanted to know, just being nosy. Anyway, CBS <laughs> have said that they will send you to... Sewer. Sewer? Sewer. Oh, sewer. <laughs> so, not the sewer, we're gonna say... <laughs> you're going back down underground. <laughs> and this time you're gonna get it right. <laughs> no, the, the le sewer, it's a French word for the, something. And uh, <laughs> it's that restaurant, you know uh, the Beverly Hills Housewives? Like uh, Lisa Vanderpump, the lady whose name sounds like a penis enlargement thing. <laughs> Jeffrey, where's my Lisa Vanderpump? No, I have it. I have it right over here. All right. I, of course, I don't need it anymore. <laughs> but uh, we'll, uh, they'll say, and you can go there and, and wheel around like... Is it handicapped assessment? Of course. Well, you know, it better be, because that's important. Sure. Do you notice that uh, if you sit in a wheelchair, people treat you like you're stupid? Yes. Yeah. It's weird, right? Yeah. It's really weird. I, I think. Hate going around in this. Yes, of course. But the you know when you talk to people who are in wheelchairs all the time, they're like, because people go, hello. <laughs> I'm like Stephen Hawking's the smartest man in the world, and he's in a wheelchair. They're like, hello, Stephen Hawking. <laughs> it's really it's odd to me, but there you go. So would you feel okay? <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Well, I'm sure they are handicap accessible, and, uh, and, and next time, you know, I was going to say don't wear high heels, but <laughs> no. <laughs> Just be careful, Maybe because... Maybe not drink as much. Hmm? Maybe not drink as Were much. Were you drunk? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say drunk. <laughs> you were... You were... That's you can't I... go to the restaurant now. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. <laughs> Be very, very quiet. <laughs> I'm hunting Canadians. <laughs> Which one of these ladies? I sound a bit like Barbara Walters a little bit. Huh? Which one of these ladies is a Canadian? Which one? Do tap her with your snout. <laughs> Wrong! Yes! Well, ladies, can you, uh, I'll tap you on the shoulder, you state your name and where you're from. Lisa from Ottawa. Canada! <laughs> Laura from Chicago. Not Canada! <laughs> you, sir, are fired! <laughs> And now the show's all mine. <laughs> the horse isn't fired. It, the ladies are up here because what happened was this. I'm sorry, what's your name again? Laura. Laura and Lisa. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Laura and Lisa were sitting like, lo, behind, like behind each other. Like exa for example, Canada is behind sort of Chicago. Right? <laughs> huh? And they were sitting behind each other. And I, and I said, hey, I like your haircut. And they both went, thanks. <laughs> so. <laughs> I've been around women a little bit in my life. And I know that you don't want to separate them out. I don't even know what I mean by that, but. What I'm saying is I didn't want to insult anyone by saying that somebody's haircut was better than anyone else. They're both spectacular haircuts. You both look great, and one of you isn't uh, from America. But that's all right. Because neither am I originally. Why are you here? Vacation? Really? What's wrong, what's wrong with Canada? 
Canada's one of the great vacation spots of the world. Where, why are you here? Vacation. You're both in LA for vacation? That's like... <laughs> have you seen this town? <laughs> you have now. Coming back again next year? Mm -hmm, yeah. Well, good news. We're sent. How many people are you here with? Uh, my mom and my dad. Great. And how many are you with? My husband. You're just your husband? So that's just like, uh, what did you were five? <laughs> I didn't finish high school. Uh, <laughs> well, we're sending you all together to one restaurant, which CBS is going to pay for. And that restaurant is? Craig's. Craig's restaurant. That's a good restaurant. It's nothing to do with me. It's uh, really, it's good. Get the, uh, the chocolate pizza. It's really good. <laughs> And we're going to send you, and you can get together and, uh, you know, and talk to each other, and maybe we can end this strife between Canada and America. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. Guess what, boy? Yes. There are some people here in the audience from Iceland. They say they're from Iceland, but they look just like regular Americans to me. <laughs> Let's check out using your special powers of guessing where people are from. <laughs> That's funny to you, is I can hear you laughing inside your own head. Are you... <laughs> Listen, can you hear? No, no, he stopped. All right. All right. Tell me if they're Icelandic. Go. Okay, Icelanders, if that is where you are from, when I tap you on the shoulder, please state your name and your town in Iceland. Sólaj Hemstadr. Yes, from? Re Reykjavik, Iceland. Reykjavik? Yeah. First step, I Akureyri. Helen Óskansdóttir, Kovór. Thank you. <laughs> Look, I know this seems a little frightening. <laughs> But in America, this happens all the time. <laughs> are you guys on vacation here? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Are you in a band? No. no. <laughs> you look like you might be in a band. Are you all related? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> everyone in Iceland related to everyone else? <laughs> a little bit, sort of, kind of, yeah? <laughs> no, not really, no. Uh, so uh, you're on vacation in uh, California? Yes. Yeah. Not very many volcanoes in California, are there? <laughs> Disappointing lack of... There's some. <laughs> what do you guys do in Iceland, then? Uh, I work at a kindergarten school. A kindergarten school? Yeah. For little Icelandic yeah. children. <laughs> Lovely. What do you do, sir? Uh, music school. Music school? Yeah. So you are a musician? Yeah. I knew it! I knew it! <laughs> I knew it! My... My favourite band of the moment, my favourite, favourite band of the moment are from Iceland. Right. Of Monsters and Men. Do you know this band? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Aren't they a great band? Awesome. <laughs> See? I know about Iceland, Reykjavik. Oh, there have been 400 polar bear sightings in Iceland, even although polar bears are not native of Iceland. Did you know this? No. no. <laughs> well, polar bears are pretty scary, so I'd keep an eye out for them. But they're all in the north, and you guys are from the south, right? <laughs> I think I've figured out where our show needs to go next. <laughs> Good news, everybody. We're sending you to an American restaurant. What's it called, Michael? Café Le Bohème. Café Le Bohème. It's French, but, they're, but they, they pay their taxes here. Uh, it's a great restaurant. We'll send you there for free. And anything you don't eat, you can take back to Iceland. Awesome. I know this feels kind of awkward, but I'm really enjoying myself. Our Icelandic friends, everybody. One of these men is Bill Hader. <laughs> one is Ted Mulcairin. And one... 
is Donald Trump. Oh no, wait a minute, turn around, turn around, turn around. Oh, that's Donald Trump. Now. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Trump, that was a complete nonsensical drive-by. I do beg your pardon, sort of. Uh, all right, that's enough. Um, don't, don't you agree you guys look alike? Yeah, sort of. yeah, sort of, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, totally. How much do you hate me right now, Ted? Oh, no, I like it. Uh, it's fun. <laughs> really? Yeah. It's so bright up here. <laughs> He's never seen daylight. He's a television writer. <laughs> well, uh, that's our show, everybody. Let's stand like this. Check them out, see if they're really Belgian. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good. Get out of here. <laughs> Ladies, when I tap you on the shoulder, please state your name and your home country. Margot, Belgium. Jasmine, Belgium. Oh. Margot and Jasmine, are you in town for the new Smurfs movie that opened this weekend? <laughs> That's Belgian, you know. Yeah, it is. Did sure. you guys grow up? What? Oh, sorry, I, don't, I put your flag on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine there. Um, so, uh, do you have that thing about the Belgian flag? Like, we can't put the stars and stripes on the ground. You're not allowed. It's a, oh, people go crazy. Yeah, we don't. No, we don't really, really mind. care. No. <laughs> <laughs> not that patriotic. Well, you know, it, Belgians done a lot for the world. You get waffles, Jean Claude Van Damme. Fries. Fries, yeah, that's right. Chocolate. Chocolate, all right, knock it off, don't brag. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, what are you doing here? We're road tripping through California. Road tripping through California? Yeah. How lovely. We're going to send you to an expensive restaurant at uh, CBS's expense. And when I say we, I mean him. <laughs> <laughs> what restaurant are you going to send him to? Uh, Maestro's Steakhouse. Maestro's Steakhouse. Maestro's. Maestro's. That's a great place, not Belgian, though. Uh, okay. Italian, Italian. We're fine with that. <laughs> you, don't like, you don't like Belgian food? Yes, we do. Oh, it's really? great. What's yeah. the best thing to eat in Belgium? Like, if you were an American tourist and you wanted to taste something particularly Belgian food-wise, what would you... Uh... Stoffles? Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> we would say Stoffles. Stoffles? Yeah. Yeah. Did I say it right? Yeah, yeah. you did. Stoffles? Yeah, correct. Do, what you, is it? do you have to lean back and open your eyes a bit when you say it? <laughs> Yeah. So, does anyone want stoffles? <laughs> it's a stew. Yeah. <laughs> what? What is it? Well, it's it's a stew. I know, I know. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> it's just that. <laughs> See, why, why I said that is because you told me what it was. And I thought, let's mess with the space-time continuum with these. <laughs> like you uh, answered the question before I even asked it. <laughs> and you know that's what makes Belgium the nation that it is today. <laughs> well done, Belgians. <laughs> Walk with me, all right? Walk with me. Go at the same time. I'll hide behind you like they used to do. <laughs> Check and see if they're really Irish. <laughs> all right, get off. When I tap you on the shoulder, please state your name and where you're from. Marie, Ireland. Katrina, Ireland. <laughs> Which part of Ireland are you from, ladies? The West, Sligo. Sligo? That's one of the great parts. <laughs> Is it? No, no, Mayo. Mayo? Yeah. Mayo. Oh, like. that's delicious. <laughs> Have you tried it since you've been in America? It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's, uh, are you on holiday in America? Uh, well, we're on like a J1 visa, that's a thing in Ireland, so you can come Well, I know what you're doing here, that's how I got here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm just taking a wee holiday. <laughs> For about five years. <laughs> of course, that's not what you're doing. I like your dresses, you look very summery. Thank, Thank you, you very much. You couldn't wear these in Sligo a lot. 
Mm, no, nah. not at all. <laughs> Are you enjoying life in Los Angeles? It's beautiful. It's stressful. It's stressful. The traffic. It's stressful. The traffic. I know. Do you not long for the days where you can take your horse and buggy down to the pub? <laughs> Do people give you a very hard time with the leprechaun thing and everything? Oh yes. Well, we just have to say potato a lot, so potato for everyone. Yeah. <laughs> you just like took over right there, do you see that? <laughs> just went potato right that. Do you know what's weird though? Because my, my, my uh, father's mother was from Donegal and a lot of my family are from Ireland and when you said potato, I kind of got turned on. <laughs> Love potatoes. We're going to send you to a restaurant for free. Where is it, Michael? Uh, Mastro's Steakhouse, Beverly Hills. What? My, my, Mastro's? That's great. They've got the best potatoes there. <laughs> you can get steak and potatoes, and we're going to send you there for free. Have you got your boyfriends or something here? Just no. the two of us. No boyfriend? <laughs> <laughs> Your move, American youth. All right, boy, one of our guests back there is an Australian. I know. <laughs> Using your powers of horsiness, you have to detect which one. The other two aren't Australian, they're German. <laughs> Don't be afraid. We have two Germans and an Australian, and they walk into a bar. <laughs> right, you have to tell me which one's the Australian, all right? All right, go. <laughs> yeah! Yeah, good boy! All right. When I, when I tap you on the shoulder, please state your name and where you're from. William or Bill. Okay. <laughs> I'm Corina from Dusseldorf in Germany. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> And you, sir? I'm Jacob from Melbourne, Australia. Jacob from Melbourne. All right, mate. <laughs> how you doing, mate? I'm all right, mate. How are you doing? All Good. right. right. <laughs> now, I was originally going to have just the two German uh, guests on the show. They're, they're, not, uh, they're not in any way related, are you? You're just a... No. Uh, oh, oh. I, I'm not a, a magician or anything. I'm just checking. Okay. <laughs> We've never met before, though, have we? Uh, I That's think magic. So. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the thing is, I was just going to have the two Germans, and then, uh, when you guys were coming out, uh, Jacob, yeah. from Melbourne, Australia, he was over there and he went, Oh, that German bird's all right, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, come on down, man. He's like, it's all right, mate. <laughs> and I was like, come on, man. So, are you guys all here on holiday? Yes, well, on a break. A break? Yes. For, from what? Uh, from, uh... Well, my wife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Yeah! And take that stereotype. <laughs> and you, young lady, what are you doing here? Um, I'm studying English here. You're doing a great job. It's the best yeah. English I've ever heard in my <laughs> life. Sure. I'm telling you, don't you? <laughs> Uh, and you, sir? I'm here for a vacation. Really? Well, why don't you all get together and go to a restaurant at CB... Who, who else is with you? My brother up here. Your brother is here? Yeah. And, uh, so that's just you and your brother? Just me and my okay, brother. Okay, that's two. Who's with my you? French friend. Over there. You have a French friend? Yeah. So you guys patched it all up then? <laughs> uh, good. You, you're French? Well, why didn't you come down for the big international house of power? <laughs> well, that's good. So you and your French friend, the two German gentlemen, and you here, you've got to be here with like five dudes or something, right? <laughs> nah, I'm just with one. All right. So you're Australian too? Yeah. All right. So two Australians. A, yeah, that, so six of them. You're going to send them to a restaurant. Don't look at me like it. Look at, you've got money, man. Ooh la la. Ooh la la. Come on. <laughs> Where are you going to send them? Where are you going to send them? Craig's! That's a great restaurant. It's nothing to do with me, but it's steaks and they have this p chocolate pizza. And you guys should all go and get together and the Australians and the Germans and the French and everybody will just like, just figure it out, man. <laughs>
welcome future generations of Earth. <laughs> oh, look, oh, look, all my friends are here. Yeah. Now, here's the thing. We decided that we were going to make an international party of the whole thing. We've got a, what's your name again, sorry? Marion. Marion. Oh, that's lovely. From France. And then Karina? Yeah. From Germany and some other dudes and stuff. And Tien and Lisa. <laughs> and the two Irish girls from last night's show are here again. <laughs> Bill, uh, Bill, who's from uh, Germany, uh, he just wanted to say that he does, in fact, love his wife. And the joke he made at the beginning of the show should in no way cause him trouble at home later. <laughs> all right? That's it? Yeah, no, it's, no, you'll be fine. It's all right. Is your wife German? Italian. <laughs> Your wife's Italian? <laughs> you're screwed, man. So, here's the thing, I know what you're thinking. Craig, why are you sending everyone from other countries out for dinner at CBS's expense and not sending any Americans out? Well, you're wrong. I am sending Americans out. There's two parts of the horse going on this trip tonight as well. <laughs> We're going to give everyone in the audience a free stick of gum. Yeah. Which is all the money that's going to be left after we pay for all of these people to go for dinner. <laughs> be honest, who here likes to drink a lot of alcohol? I'm looking at you Australians. <laughs> now here's the thing. Now that we're on the air and the, uh, you know, and CBS are committed to paying for this, I'm looking at you guys to make me proud, all right? <laughs> I want to be a memo going around CBS tomorrow that says, Craig, if you ever do that again, your ass is fired. I want that. Yeah. The beautiful people of the studio, ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you later. Say good night, everybody. All right, you guys ready? Ready. All right, all right. One, two, three, four. What did, did we, we learn, learn on the show tonight? Tommy was Yeah. yeah. If you These ladies claim to be German. <laughs> yes, these ones. <laughs> so, let's test them. <laughs> test them, boys. Test if they're really Germans. <laughs> All right. Please state your name and your reason for being here this evening. My name is Nadia, and I'm studying business administration in San Diego. I see. <laughs> My name is Valentina, and I'm here because uh, I like your jokes. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I'm sensing a certain amount of insincerity here. <laughs> See, when, when I do uh, the German accent on the show, like, I, you know I'm only kidding, right? It's like, I don't mean any harm to, you know. <laughs> but I will ask you, uh, is the, does the German accent that I do, does it sound reasonably authentic? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> this, to me, makes me very happy indeed. <laughs> What about Jeff's German accent? Yeah, we enjoy you being here very much. <laughs> it's great. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In that case, please accept the small German flag. <laughs> now. Now. If you can answer one simple question, we will send you for a free slap-up meal at a restaurant called... Locanda Veneta. Locanda Veneta. It's Italian. Yes. Right. <laughs> well, you guys get along, don't you? Ah. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's a stupid joke. All right. Uh. All right, uh, here is the question. Name the southern... You have 30 seconds, no, three seconds, no, five, no, eight, eight seconds to answer. Uh, name the southernmost province of Germany. The southernmost province, province of Germany. 
Pro yeah, province. All right, I said it wrong. All right, very funny. <laughs> province. Province. The area. The area. What's the area called? The southern. That's more than eight seconds. Bavaria. And the answer is. It's the correct answer, Bavaria! <laughs> That's nice of you to say. Uh, I, I want to say something to Nadia, actually, if she's still here. Yeah, yeah, uh, Nadia, the uh, German. Nadia, uh, foul off die Nusa. What? Foul off. <laughs> I get that a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I think what she's saying is, what is happening <laughs> what is here? Yeah. What, is, what is this yeah. sort of weird pubic thing on your face? Um, foul off die Nusa? Foul off die Nusa. Am I saying it wrong? That's the one thing I know how to say in German. What is that? <laughs> it means hit me in my nuts. <laughs> Oh, fall off the noose, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so here's the thing. This two, this two here, claim to be from Brazil. <laughs> Let's find out. All right, stay there. Now, yeah, pretend you've seen the show before, or just you, it'll be fine. <laughs> when I tap you on the shoulder, please state your name for the folks at home, not necessarily in Brazil. Cachi. Mm -hmm. Giovanni. I see. <laughs> Fala portugues? Si. Si. Sadly, I don't. So, <laughs> here's the thing. If you really are from Brazil, and can prove it, then we will send you to a fantastic restaurant in the Los Angeles area. What is it? Master's Steakhouse. Master's Steakhouse. <laughs> which is fantastic. No, not Brazilian food. <laughs> Throw it on. Oh, right. Really? <laughs> now, if you are from Brazil, as you claim to be, you will be able to name three people in the 1970s national soccer side from Brazil. Three. Three. Hmm. Pelé. Of course. Uh, uh, Tostão. Yes. Jardinho. What? Jardinho. 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 Rivellino. Rivellino. Yeah, yeah. For my money, the best soccer side that ever existed. Uh, Pelé. <laughs> I think we have a language problem. <laughs> However, these people are clearly adorable and demand free stuff. <laughs> which I'm going to give them. Craig, why are you giving that away? Because it's CBS's and I want to. <laughs> So, you have won the prize of the soccer ball, signed by Secretariat! <laughs> Here! We pre-recorded the cold open at the beginning of the show. Most of the show is live, but we now only have 40 seconds for these lovely people. <laughs> oh boy, am I glad it's only 40 seconds. Before, uh, we, we, you've won a prize. What's the prize? Dinner at Craig's. Dinner at Craig's. <laughs> Quickly, we only have nine seconds to introduce the show. Tonight's show is going to be great. Rosie Perez is on it. These people will not be on it. I'll be on it, but only a little bit. It'd be worth coming back if you wanted. If not, you watch Fallon. I don't care. All right. Are you ready? Okay, we'll get started. When I tap your show on the shoulder, please state your name for the folks at home. Mikey. Mikey. Friendly little spud, aren't you? <laughs> Where are you from, Mikey, if that's your real name? Lakewood, California. Lakewood, eh? Check him out. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Okay. And Secretariat is moving across the floor. <laughs> so, Mikey, from Lakewood, what do you do for a living? I work in graphic arts. Really? You surprise me. <laughs> what do you do in graphic arts? I create uh, promotional flyers and uh, graphics for... Uh, a All right, that's enough. Uh, <laughs> so, um, when I uh, came out earlier on, I need to have my eyes checked because what I said was you threw the goat when I was coming out and I said, oh, the lady who threw the goat, come on down. <laughs> you are, in fact, a dude, aren't you? I am. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's all right. Hey, hey. Give a round of applause for just being a dude. <laughs> Unless you had to go through a lot of procedures to. No. All right. Um, so, Mikey, I want to ask you about your beard. Yes, sir. It's a small, pointy goatee. Yes, sir. Is there any significance to that? Could be. What is it then? Is it some kind of gamer thing? No. Is it some kind of graphic design thing? Could be. Are you a spy? <laughs> if I told you, I'd have to kill you. You'd be putting me out of my misery. <laughs> <laughs> what, was that too dark? It was awesome. Oh, was it? Yeah. Uh, all, right. Uh, all right, Mikey, I have one question for you. If you get this question correct, you will um, be able to go for a free dinner at Lab Café La Bohème. Yeah. Oh, you love it there, Mikey. <laughs> It's a French restaurant, right? Have you ever been to France? No. Well, this is like going to France, but better. Uh, <laughs> all right, here's the question. Yes, sir. Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Its capital city is Reykjavik. Correct? Correct. That's the right answer. You got that you're going to Kathy Level. <laughs> we'll be right back to the show, everybody. Bye, <laughs> <laughs> Don't stand too close to that fire, you'll set your clothes on fire. <laughs> it's so cold in here tonight that members of the studio audience are gathering round the fire to stay warm. <laughs> you probably don't recognize me. <laughs> I had my hair cut. You see, I have a haircut. Yeah, it looks really good. Man. Yeah, thanks. I, yeah. It's going the other way. Did you notice that? Were you in a... I, my hair, my whole life, my hair is going this way, and now suddenly I'm going the other way. I'm going the other way, everybody. <laughs> I think it's time. <laughs> Jeff, have you ever gone the other way? All the time. All the time. <laughs> Ladies, what are your names? My name is Jacqueline Bishop. Hello, Jacqueline Bishop, and you are? Maria. Maria. <laughs> Maria is a little more mysterious than Jacqueline Bishop. <laughs> I think that Jacqueline Bishop is open and friendly and tells you things about herself. Maria has no time for you. She's a Ruski, that's it. Oh, pardon? She's a Russian, that's it. Oh, are you Russian? Yes. Oh. Well, um... Privet. <laughs> Hi. Uh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Maria is plotting my assassination. <laughs> Are you visiting from Russia? No, I study with her. Oh, you study? Uh, do you Russia? teach Russian? No, I no, just we... know some Russian. Oh, you know some Russian? So you just thought... No, oh, I remember we, we study in the cinema department. Oh, remember you're, you're, we you're film students? Yes. Correct. I see. How's, how's that going? It's fabulous. We're here with you. This is not really a film. I know. Right, this is it's not really TV either, is it, really? It's no. More just a creepy public access show. <laughs> However, the good news me. is we're sending you to a restaurant. Ooh. Are we? <laughs> <laughs> yes, but you have to go the other way because of my hair. <laughs> Where are we sending them? Sewer. Sewer? Yeah. Oh, sewer, not a sewer. Not a, all right, all right. <laughs> Don't worry, it's not like you're getting sent to the sewer like in Russia. It's the sewer... <laughs> Sewer is that, that's Lisa Vanderpump's restaurant. Lisa Vanderpump's one of the Beverly Hills. It's the one Vanderpump sounds like. Right, so that's she, ideal. and we're going to send you two and uh, two friends of yours. Oh, That'll be four. thank you. Oh, you're welcome. 
Спасибо. Да надо. Да, да. That's to just let you know that even although my hair's going the other way, <laughs> it's still the generous, warm-hearted show it's always been. Join us after the break when we take a serious look at the Mayor of Toronto. <laughs> Don't worry. Everything's going to be fine. This gentleman here is from Hungary. He doesn't speak very much English. <laughs> now, he's a guest in our country, and so we must treat him nicely. This horse fortunately speaks both Hungarian and English, but can only translate in thoughts in the voice of Morgan Freeman. <laughs> Bet you're glad you skinned up before the show, aren't you? All right, let's begin. <laughs> Hello, what's your name? Zoltan. Zoltan? Zoltan. <laughs> My name is Zoltan. Zoltan! <laughs> right. <laughs> Zoltan, uh, you're from Hungary, yes? Yes. Yes. <laughs> And why are you visiting the United States? Uh, visit my uncle. I got lost and had nothing better to do. <laughs> You're visiting your uncle in California? Yes. I see. And what do you do for a living in Hungary? Uh, what is your job, your profession? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, I am a professional wrestler. Really? Yes. Uh, you, uh, do you uh, work out? No, no. <laughs> No, I do not, but <laughs> perhaps you'd like to sometime with me. Why, why is he shaking? Why, why, are you, why are you moving around so much? <laughs> what the hell's going on? Hold on a second. Um, so, sorry, Zoltan. I think I kind of lost control of it a bit. <laughs> so. <laughs> you watch the commercials and we'll try and get it all sorted out, all right? Everybody, I feel a little bit bad. I feel like I maybe, you know, I, I, might, I didn't mean to, but I think I might have embarrassed Zoltan a little bit at the beginning of the show. No, you think yeah, about it during the monologue whilst the audience was being very quiet and I think that's what that's what put them in a bad mood with me they were like hey, you were such a jerk to Zoltan I didn't mean to be so so what I'll do is uh, <laughs> we'll send Zoltan and his girlfriend who wouldn't even come down from our seat <laughs> to uh, Craig's restaurant right that's a that's a really good rest great place yeah really good See, I, we, wanted, we wanted Zoltan's girlfriend to come down, and she was like, no. She's a very smart girl. She, well, that's what the Hungarian girls are very clever. They are. This man was sitting in lesbian row. <laughs> so, please state your name for the folks at home. Uh, Todd Lundberg. Todd Lundberg. Swedish? Yes. Oh. Correct. <laughs> Actually from Sweden or uh, of Swedish descent? Swedish descent. I see. So, Todd, are we leaning to the side a little bit tonight? <laughs> <laughs> Todd, Todd. Yes. At any point, we may break into a hip-hop song. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. Todd, Todd, what do you do for a living? Other than your hip-hop career, obviously. <laughs> well, I'm an actor slash paralegal. An actor paralegal? Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, now, Todd, you realize you were sitting in lesbian row? Yes. 
Which disappoints me because, as you can see this evening, Lesbian Row is a spectacular array of female beauty. And I was looking at it, and then just at the very end, as my eyes waved across the stunning ladies of Lesbian Row, they fell upon you, Todd. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, don't... <laughs> don't apologize. I, I just wonder if anyone had told you that you were, uh... <laughs> you were sitting on Lesbian Row. <laughs> No. <laughs> well, good news, Todd and the beautiful girls of Lesbian Row, because all of you, all of them, you cheap bastard, all of them are going to go out to a restaurant and we will eat for free. And yeah! What, what, uh, Locanda Veneta, it's an Italian restaurant. Uh, it's a very good one too, isn't it? Obviously. Um, <laughs> Let me ask you very quickly, by nodding of head or not, ladies of Lesbian Row, have you ever met Todd before? <laughs> You're welcome. Tootsie Fruitsie. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> All right, come over and have a sniff. I'm being set up. <laughs> they for real? All right, go. <laughs> So, it's quiet like this. So, please state your name when I tap you on the shoulder. Greg. Greg and? Lisa. Greg and Lisa. What do you do for a living, Greg and Lisa? I'm a retired uh, police lieutenant and an attorney. I see. And you, Lisa? I'm a retired police officer. Two cops! Two cops <laughs> in the show! <laughs> How did you guys meet? On a stakeout? No. <laughs> I walked in and said, you're driving me. Oh, really? You were her boss? Yep. Let me put it to you, Mr. So-called attorney, that this is, in fact, a case of sexual harassment. You're right. Is it really? But she didn't sue me. Well, but she married you. I know. Then I couldn't sue him. Yeah, ah, and that means she gets more of your stuff that way. <laughs> so. <laughs> Do you want to hear my New York cop story? Here's what, like, I was drunk in New York once on, on a motorcycle. It was a long time ago, Statue of Limitations is up. And I was, I was on this motorcycle and I, boom, I come off the motorcycle in an intersection. This New York cop comes over and he goes, give me your driver's license, you're drunk. And I give him my driver's license and it's a British driver's license, right? Because I just come in and I open up and it's got a picture of the Queen and a, you know, a drawing of Hogwarts and some owl, owl feathers and all that. And he, said, he looks at it and he goes, I can have it's this. <laughs> It's a British driver's license. He goes, uh, put it in your pocket, drive away, take care, you'll be all right. <laughs> he figured that it would be about three days worth of paperwork. <laughs> Was that you? No, I pulled over Jill Clayburgh. Really? Yeah. <laughs> British driver's license? Uh, no license. No license? I just said, have a nice day. And that's when you retired. <laughs> Oh, I think uh, everything's worked out rather well. Oh, we're going to send you to a restaurant. What restaurant are we going to send you to? How about Sewer? Sewer? Oh, now Sewer is the restaurant owned by Lisa Vanderpump, who's the lady is in the... You ever seen the Beverly Hills uh, Housewives thing? She's the lady that owns the restaurant. And... <laughs> But here's another story. I ran into her in another restaurant the other day, and apparently she was mad at me. I never told you this. She came over and she was mad at me because I said her name sounded like a penis enlargement device. <laughs> it does sound a little bit like it, doesn't it? <laughs> you know, it's like, like, for example, and she was really mad. She was like, I'm going to make fun of you in my reality show. And I was like, oh, no. But, <laughs> but it does sound a bit like, anyway, when you're there, give her my best. Officers of the law, a bit of respect, thank you. We'll be right back, we'll be right back. Well done. <laughs> All right. Please state your name for the folks at home, would you? Janae Henry. Janae Henry? Yes. So when they were calling out your name at school, they'd go, Henry Janae, and everybody go, oh, is your name Henry? Ah, like that? No. Okay. Um, <laughs> where are you from, Janae? Arlington, Texas. Arlington, Texas, that's one of my favorite Arlingtons. It's home of the Cowboys. Exactly. Well, to be honest, many places in Texas are home of the Cowboys, Janae. What are you doing in L.A.? It's going to school for television production. I see. <laughs> well, please don't do anything you see here in your... Uh... Now, uh, Janae. 
Yes. There's been a crime here at CBS today, and um, we want to help you. We want you to help us solve it. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. What are you laughing at? Nothing. Go ahead, man. All right. It seems Jeff's favorite yellow flower has been stolen. <laughs> and I, for the life of me, can't think of where it might be. <laughs> Jeff is uh, beside himself, aren't you, Jeff? I am. I was driving through Texas when I lost it. <laughs> if only we could see where that sucker was. <laughs> If only we could see where that sucker was. <laughs> you got any ideas? <laughs> uh, dear Craig and Jeff, my wife is in a phase where she keeps telling me I'm wrong about pretty much everything. Can you give me a good comeback? Dude, that's not a phase. <laughs> That's your wife. <laughs> and you are wrong about everything. <laughs> she told me. <laughs> Over lunch. <laughs> I had lunch with her and your mom. <laughs> Where am I going with this? <laughs>